Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I'm a preacher at the West Side Church of Christ in Old Grove, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we are in 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3, going to be looking at verses six, or 7 and 8. 1 John 3, verses 7 and 8. Here it reads, it says, Little children, let no one deceive you. The one who does righteous righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. The one who does sin is of the devil, because the devil sins from the beginning. The Son of God was manifested for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. I think it's a very appropriate verse, again, probably for all of time. Um, we always get caught up in saying for today, and we can look at the world, but I know at any point in time, we, we kind of can go back and we can find where adults were saying the same thing, how it just continues to go further and further, though. The fact that we get caught up in saying, well, the young are continuously getting further away from God, or the culture continues to get further away in, the, in this area. But it reads here in verse 7, let no one deceive you. The world is trying to do that. Satan is trying to do that. Trying to deceive everyone. To say that sin is good. Calling good evil and evil good. And going around trying to proclaim that it's okay to do just about anything, right? To, to go around in modestly, go around lying, go around in adultery and fornication, go around... Uh, and homosexuality, going around and, and changing your genders, going around and trying to just do anything. Be drunks, to, to gamble all your stuff away, to continuously just do sin. But it says, let no one deceive you. The one who does righteousness is righteous like he is righteous. Those who continue in the path of Christ are those who are children of God. In the next verse, those who do sin, the one who does sin, is of the devil. And I think that's the big deception, is that many get caught up in saying that you can continue in sin and be a child of God. And that's just not so. Yes, we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and yes, we all, from time to time, fall short. But to those who continue, I want you to make sure you understand what I'm saying there, is those who continue they're continuously sinning from day to day, each and every day. You know, they're not trying to repent of their sins. They're not trying to uh, overcome them and turn the other direction. What they're doing is saying, God's got to accept me how I am. Saying that God's really not upset with this action of my life. And so it's not that they are trying to repent and seeking forgiveness but rather they try to call sin something that is okay that, that God is okay with it that God will just ignore it God really doesn't think it's that bad and that's not true those who continue in sin are of the devil because the devil sins from the beginning since the beginning and this is the reason Jesus came down, is to destroy the works of the devil. So why, why, if he sacrificed his son, he sent his son Jesus down here to destroy the works of the devil, why would God accept those who continue in his ways? It just don't make sense. And so therefore it does not line up with the scriptures, it does not line up with our Savior, it does not line up with our Father. And so we have to put sin behind us. So that's what I have for you today. I want to thank you for joining me. Hope everybody a blessed day. Lord's willing. Talk to you later.